everyone, this is Arlene with a project for Lindy Stamp Gang. I created this card using some of the newer colors uh, that Lindy Stamp Gang has come out with uh, in the past couple months. And this is my card. Um, I have a tutorial that I created, gosh, I want to say like maybe like four or five months ago, um, quite some time ago, on how to paint with your Lindy Stamp Gang Starburst sprays or stains. And all you really need are your stains and a... Um, pretty fine tip uh, paintbrush. And here's one of my original projects and she's uh, completely colored with the exception of her skin, she's completely colored with Lindy Stamp Gang Starburst sprays. Super duper fun. So you'll see this um, up on my Lindy Stamp Gang playlist. I have a video tutorial on how I painted her. But super fun. You can blend the colors. You can tell I used two colors on her hair. Um, and she comes out super duper um, shimmery. I really love it. So on this particular card, I actually used a Hero Arts background stamp, and I have a tutorial at the end that shows you um, pretty much how I, I did all of this. I uh, stamped it with archival ink and clear embossing powder, heat set it, and that was the base of my, um, my background. And then I just uh, sprayed some of the um, really pretty, a bit of bubbly. It really gives you a really light um, yellowish gold color, so you can see a little bit of that on the background. I sprayed it with that first and then I went in and I painted each of the flowers on the background using my favorite um, color which is the um, fuzzy navel peach and um, I went back in with some cosmopolitan pink on the center of the flower so you'll see that there's some darker parts of the flower and then the center of the flower I used grab a, um, grab a guy gold which is a really pretty deep orangish um, yellow color as you can tell right over here you guys can see that. And then over here um, is the My Mojito Green, which is one of my fave greens. I used it on all the leaves in my background. So that's how I created the background. Um, the stamp that I used here is by Cloud9, picked it up at Joann's. Um, I used some of my Parisian accents uh, from my Spellbinder Shape Ability set. This is an I Am Roses flower that was already pre-stained with the Fuzzy Navel Peach. Um, and the leaves, the I Am Roses leaves, were also pre-stained with the um, My Mojito Green. I had actually done this <clears throat> for a Graphic 45 um, Once Upon a Springtime project because these colors go perfectly with that paper. But I ended up not using the flower, so I decided to use it on this particular project. Um, this is, again, for my spell binders. I really love these borders. It's really pretty. And then I have some cherry blossoms and two little rose buds and then one of these dimensional... Um, Butterfly Kisses Flowers from Carla's Etsy, which I really love. I love all the bling on it. So really fun um, way to create backgrounds using your Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. This butterfly right here um, is actually from the same stamp set that the Cherish Sentiments from. It's by Cloud9. Picked it up at Joann's. And actually, I colored this butterfly with my Copic markers. I didn't use any of the stains um, on that. And I just fussy cut it and... Um, glued it just on the center so that the wings would come up just a little bit. So that's my card. I'm going to go ahead and take you into tutorial on how this came together and I'll have some pictures at the end as well. Thanks for watching. Check out Lindy Stamp Gang you guys. www.lindystampgang.com Bye!